Let's look at a typical loading operation. When you are ready for loading to begin, you should start with a minimum rate into one or two tanks, depending on whether the minimum rate possible requires two tanks to be opened. This will typically be the single tank loading rate. Once the loading has started, certain checks must be made before increasing the loading rate. There should be no cargo pipeline leaks. It's very important that any leaks that do occur are dealt with immediately. Otherwise, loading should be stopped and the situation resolved. Cargo should enter the intended tanks only and you should carefully check the level gauge readings for all other tanks to make sure they remain empty. Remember, leaking valves or pipelines are always possible. If other cargo is on board, the ullage should not significantly change in those tanks. Any difference should be explained by changes in list or trim. When you've confirmed that there are no leaks, the cargo is entering the correct tanks and they are venting properly. The suction or filling valves on the remaining tanks to be loaded can be opened and the loading rate can be increased. When loading at high rate, it's a good idea to slowly increase the rate over around 30 minutes. Good practice is to increase the loading rate in increments based on multiples of the single tank loading rate. Before increasing each time, check for leaks, make sure the cargo is only entering the tanks being loaded and ensure that the cargo tanks continue to vent adequately. As cargo tanks fill when loading a full cargo, you should see a gradual rise in pressure in the cargo tank ullage space before it settles down to a steady pressure. Cargo pipelines on deck and in the pump room can leak crude oil at any time during the loading process. So it's important that one crew member observes the manifold connection at all times and another should systematically and regularly patrol the area with an intrinsically safe flashlight. Inspecting loading pipelines from forward to aft along the whole length of the cargo pipeline on deck. Checking flanged connections and blanks, including manifold blanks on the side opposite the manifold connections. Expansion couplings, connections for pressure gauges and sensors, and the pressure vacuum breaker. If you're loading through the pump room pipelines, the same approach needs to be adopted, with all the necessary entry precautions being taken. During loading, you must always monitor tank levels of filled tanks that are not being loaded with cargo. If adjustment is possible, the high level and low level alarm settings should be set either side of the actual cargo level with the tolerance range based on any likely increase in temperature or any changes in ullage and trim. It's also essential that you monitor empty cargo tanks that are not being loaded. At any time during loading, cargo can enter tanks not being loaded through leaking suction filling valves, pipelines or through oil tight bulkheads. Sometimes it's only when the cargo in a tank has reached a certain level that it might exert enough pressure on pipes and valves in cargo tanks for leakage to start or become obvious. That any leakages become obvious.